Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie Man here and welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager 2019 safe here with CSKA in Moscow. Today we're going to take on Zenit, who have had a bit of an upturn of form recently. They've managed to pull themselves out of the relegation zone, but we're hoping just to knock them back a peg uh, or two, uh, just as we carry on proceeding forward with the save. Um, things have gone pretty well. The Champions League, as per usual, has been absolutely rubbish. We have been given some more money though, and things seem to be potentially turning around for us. So these are the results since we last saw you guys. 3-1 uh, here against uh, Lokomotiv Moscow in the Cup. I was very ha uh, happy with that in the sixth round of the Cup. Uh, Zagorev, Lassian and Dai, uh, and yes, Ivan. 3-1 uh, though, good result. Then against Ural, uh, we beat them 4-1. Yaka, uh, Lassian and Dai, and Adel Hernandez getting his first goal for the club. So, I mean, in November, it's taken him that long in the season for him to get his first goal. It's not very good. It's not very good at all. And then lost to Galatasaray, and that was kind of the game. Uh, if we didn't get anything from that one, I knew we weren't going to get anything at all out of the competition. We played pretty well, though. I'll give us that. We played pretty well, but definitely we're not at that level yet. We're not at a level where we're going to be able to compete in European football. And that was pretty obvious um, from the early stages to be 100% fair. Then we played against Anzi. They were bottom of the league. And we only managed to beat the 1-0. And it was Adele Hernandez with a penalty. But at least he got another goal. We then got smashed by Man City. Which is kind of expected. 5-1. We didn't play that badly. Had a couple of good chances. Uh, defensively we were absolutely god awful though. And Man City will just rip you apart. Arsenal Tula. This was frustrating. Uh, we did win 4-3. And it's frustrating for the simple fact that if you look, we went far up. We actually went far up. We were playing extremely well. We had a good period just before half time. And then we managed to score in the second half. It felt pretty comfortable for me. And then they came back with three goals. Uh, one very late on, luckily. But they came out with three goals. Akin 5 got injured, so we put in the rotation keeper, which I don't think he had the greatest of times. Uh, but yeah, really bad. Uh, then in the quarterfinal, the first leg, so I'm hoping we can relax a little bit for the second leg, although it is the only game in February, to be 100% honest. So hopefully it'll just help us build up a little bit of foot, uh, fitness. I might even bring you that game just to update you, uh, like do a, a transfer roundup and then do that game. I'm not sure yet, but I think we might do that actually. Uh, and then we got our first loss of the season. Shatov. Shatov shat on us. Yes, Oleg Shatov scored for Lokomotiv Moscow. And we lost 1-0. We played really well in the game. It was an even game, though. I'll be I'll be honest. It was a very even match. Uh, but we ended up losing 1-0. And it is a shame. But at the end of the day, we had to lose in the league at some point. There is no way we should be doing this well in the league anyway. Uh, we then played against Napoli. We beat them 2-0. Uh, Fedor Shalov and Ivan. Uh, we played really well in the game. They had a couple of opportunities, but we played really Really well. Now, as I was talking about financially, we have been given some money. So, guys, this is what I was on about. We now have 9,038k on the wages. Uh, we did have a little bit more than that. Uh, the thing that changed was I had to move some money over to the wages because we got a, a boost in transfer funds, uh, about 11.5 million, something like that. But obviously, the wages were already dire. So, there is the opportunity that we may pick up a couple of players. We definitely need them. And there is the opportunity that maybe we lose a couple of players. I'm not overly, uh, uh, like, extremely happy with the squad. If we look at it, it seems really small, but it's very much clouded with foreign players that just really aren't that much use to us. And even the Russian players we've got, apart from the odd few, I, they're players that we could definitely replace. I mean, if you look at the actually uh, actual ability of players, there's a lot of players that aren't very good at all. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's get into the first game. Well, the only game of the episode. So, guys, this is going to be the lineup. It's pretty strong in terms of the team we're playing. Injuries again play a part with Rasmus Falk being injured. It's pretty frustrating. But Akin 5 is back in net, so that'll be decent. It's quite a common and strong back four, to be fair. Uh, Jagorev is playing at the advanced playmaker in midfield. Blas Vlasic and Sigerson, who have been brilliant, and then Chalov and Hernandez. But to be honest with you, today I will start and die instead of Hernandez. Uh, and die has been playing really well. Probably our best striker this season. Him and Chalov have definitely outperformed Hernandez anyway, in any way, shape or form. So hopefully that will continue as we go into this game. Right, guys, the team talk is done, and it is time to play the match here against Senate. I'm hoping for a victory, if at all possible. We're going to play on key highlights, as usual. And, as we've just started the game, 
it looks like it's snowing as well, which is interesting. It's quite a cool effect as well. I was quite impressed with it. I know that's strange, but snow's snow's always a good effect. Uh, but if you have enjoyed the way the video has been edited today, please smash that thumbs up button. I'm trying something a little bit different, and by different, I mean I'm actually editing the video. Uh, oh, Chalov starts off brilliantly. We need to bounce back in the league, of course, but Chalov there, great start. Um, the games, I'm, uh, for the minute, I'm not going to edit at all. I'm just going to do them fully live because I kind of like that style. But in terms of all the build-up of stuff like the team and stuff we're going to cut to different parts it's a new format i've not tried it before i know other people do it it just kind of cuts out a little bit of the um i don't know of the stuff that doesn't really matter uh, we do have a game in hand uh against spartak as well which is key so we would be top of the table by a point i think or maybe two but definitely by a point um so yeah we could easily i mean imagine first season being champions would be huge for us. I I mean, it really would. It would be massively impressive. And I definitely need to change the name of this uh, formation. Because I do have it named as Monaco. Why will you not let me do this? Uh, I do have it named as Monaco. And obviously this has been tweaked um, uh, quite a lot to fit this CSK and Moscow save. Um, so, But I always leave it as the base name. I mean, it doesn't really bother me, but I should probably change it because it looks like I've just directly imported the exact tactic that I was playing for Monaco. Of course, I've had to tweak it. As anyone will know, you may, be, you may use a tactic that you've used before or the base of that. You can use that as a base to move forward, but I, I find it never works the same with a different team. Um, I would imagine there's some unbreakable like unbreakable tactics in there like there normally is, but in terms for me, I always have to tweak and change things to get the best out of the tactic. Can we get two? Ah, Zenit are having a really crazy season. I mean, we've had 20 shots here, eight on target. Us getting shots on target has been an issue, but I can only say that that probably speaks for the quality of players we've got, especially the midfielders, because my midfielders do get quite a few shots, and if you don't have the best of midfielders in this tactic and the way I'm playing... It really doesn't benefit them whatsoever. So Arsenal Tula are winning as well. This is not a good sign for us. I knew it wasn't. And Bulin scores. And he's a player we want as well. Damn. That's not good. It's not good at all. Paredes, great ball in. I mean, I don't think he's offside. It was a great finish. Maybe Akin 5 should have done better. I have to make some changes. And this looks like it could be a draw. Uh, what changes are we going to make? Well, and Dai really hasn't proved me right. So I'm going to bring him off. Uh, and we're going to play um, as a complete forward and a deep line forward, potentially. Maybe not. And a pressing forward. Maybe this will uh, suit us a little bit better. Uh, what other chance? This is the issue I've been saying. You know, uh, I've been saying it all along. The first team is key. I mean, Rasmus Falk being injured is an issue for us. He's been very good for us this season. But when you don't have the players, you don't have the players. I mean, I don't have much on the bench in the way of affecting the game. And that's kind of been the root of all evil this season. A draw here would mean that we are now kind of neck and neck with Spartak Moscow. And that will be very frustrating for me. But, I mean, I suppose results weren't going to be great all season round. That was never going to be the case, but it looks like as we move towards the later stages of this game, we'll go very attacking, uh, that nothing is going to be created. And yes, they're going to blow the full-time whistle here, I can imagine. And there we go. Okay, never mind. Offside. <laughs> And there we go. Okay, right this time. Well, I mean, that's a shame. That's that's a real shame. I feel like we definitely should have done a little bit better there. I mean, look at this. 32 shots, 11 on... I, if you've never seen an FM moment, if you've never played FM before, this is a welcome to FM. 32 shots, 11 on target, and we only score one goal with 68% possession. They have three shots, only one of them on target. And they've scored. Uh, so, yeah, very, very frustrating. It wasn't a boolean and scored, but that's what came up. Okay, fair enough. So, with that result, it leaves us second. We still have a game in hand on Spartak, but as well, uh, you know, they're going to be two points ahead of us now because of their results. I mean, that draw there and then winning, they'll be two points ahead. It's a little bit of a shame, but to be 100% honest, if we can take second this season, that'll be huge strides. It'll be interesting to see what business we can do here in December. In December? In January. I'm looking forward to it and seeing what we can pull out the bag because we definitely need to make some changes. But we need to make the changes that are going to work well for us, especially in terms of youngsters in the Russian 
kind of mindset. We need the Russian youngsters. Uh, but anyway, guys, we will be back probably... Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do this cup game just to break things up because I've got two months now of pretty much nothing. Obviously, there will be transfers now, which is nice because there'll be some fun. So I'm going to spend probably a couple of hours in, in January trying to fix this team and get players off the books. Uh, but apart from that, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing else really going to be going on for the whole of February. So that's a long period of time to play with nothing going on. So I probably will bring you that cup game. It seems that makes sense to me. Um... This is the first bad live com I think we've had, apart from maybe did we live com a Champions League game? That could have been a situation. But this is probably this is the first Russian league bad live com we've had. It wasn't a loss, but we were dominant and we should have won it. And it means we lose a little bit of pace. But I was never expecting to win the league in season one. Uh, anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new around here and smash the like button as it always helps on YouTube's with the algorithms and all that jazz. Uh, feel free down below. I will link the Discord the Twitter and the Twitch if you want to go and check me out on any of them I would gladly accept that uh, take care guys see you in the next one